With fantastic performance and handsome good looks, this is one of the most desirable new sports sedans on the market today. And oh yeah, it just happens to be a Kia. Today we're taking a look at the 2018 Kia Stinger GT, a car that our staff was so impressed with, we named it our 2018 Roadshow Shift Award winning Car of the Year. And we're spending more time with it today because, well, it's awesome. Let's hit the road. Now the Kia Stinger is a handsome sports sedan. It's probably one of the most original designs to come out of Kia's design studio since the original Soul. But this is a completely different vehicle. It's a sports sedan and it's got an aggressive front end that's just the right level of aggressive, not too goofy looking like some of the competition. And the silhouette, the profile of this vehicle, the proportions are just right. I really like the way this car looks inside and out. But a lot of you are probably here for the performance. Now under the hood, this GT2 model, all GT models in fact, are going to be powered by a 3.3 liter twin turbocharged V6 engine. That's going to make around uh, 376 pound feet of torque or around 365 horsepower. That's one pony for every day of the year. Now that's going to go through a single option 8 speed automatic transmission. It's your only choice with any Stinger, but you do get to pick between rear wheel drive or all wheel drive. Now this all-wheel drive model that we're in right now would be really nice in an area that gets weather, things like snow or stuff like that. But here in California, where it's pretty dry, I think I'd be happier with the rear-wheel drive version. It's a little bit lighter, it's a little bit more dynamic in the corners, and I think I'd have a lot more fun with it. Our editor, John Wong, seems to think the same thing. He drove both cars on the Nürburgring. It's pretty awesome. Now this GT2 model's top of the line, so we've also got a couple of other performance upgrades, including massive Brembo brakes all around that do a fantastic job of bringing this car to a stop, corner after corner, without any sort of fade. They get a little hot, but they never really stop working. We've also got an adaptive suspension that's going to allow you to adjust the characteristics of the way this car handles between about four different drive modes. We've got a sport mode right here. Uh, we've also got a comfort mode, an eco mode, and a smart driving mode. There's also a fifth custom mode that lets you choose and mix and match the way the transmission works with the suspension, with the engine. You can kind of create your own profile there, but I think I'm just gonna leave it in sport. That's what I've been doing for most of this time. Now, if you're more fuel economy oriented, you could actually get a couple more MPG out of a non-GT Stinger. That's gonna be powered by a two liter twin scroll turbocharged engine that makes a lot less power, but gets a few more miles between fill ups. Then again, if you're here for economy, maybe you'd be more interested in something like a Kia Optima SX. It's gonna save you a lot of money in the long run. Now, around those powertrains and performance upgrades, we're looking at a car that's just packed with technology. In the dashboard, we've got a really nice UVO3 infotainment system that we talk about in a separate video. It's a really good system. It's got all the features that we really like, and it's a pretty good value. This top of the line model also features all of the driver aid technologies available to Kia, including things like adaptive cruise control that works all the way down into stop and go traffic, as well as lane keeping steering assist that keeps you from drifting out of your lane on the highway. It's pretty smart and a fairly modern tech car. Now the Stinger has to compete on a lot of different levels, depending on where you are in the scale. If you're looking at a non-GT Stinger with a two liter, you're talking about a car that competes with things like the Mazda 6 or the Ford Fusion Sport, things like that. But this GT model with its turbocharged six cylinder engine, great performance, actually kind of runs with cars like BMW's 4 Series Grand Coupe or the Audi S5 Sportback. It brings a lot of power and performance as well as a lot of technology to the table, but I think it does it at a pretty good price that makes it very competitive. Now with a smaller two liter, the 2018 Kia Stinger starts at around $32,000, but if you want the better V6 performance and all of the bells and whistles, well, you want the GT2 like we got. As tested, we're looking at around $52,000. Now that's a lot of money for a Kia, but consider this is a quantum leap in performance and quality from the brand. Plus, this thing could technically run alongside an Audi S5 Sportback. It can't beat it, but it'll definitely run alongside it for around $15,000 less. That makes this a bit of a steal. And it's a good thing that we like it so much because we put a ring on it. 
We're keeping this one as our long-term tester over the next couple of months, which means that we'll be able to put that improved quality to the test, and we'll be able to have a lot of fun with that turbocharged performance. In fact, I think I'm gonna get back on the road now.